parish leaders along with the regional director for the Louisiana Department of Health hold a joint online briefing. They're providing an update on the local response to COVID-19. NBC6's Jade Jackson is live at Government Plaza with more. Jade? Dan, Jackie, they've been holding briefings consi consistently online because they're practicing social distancing and they're urging the public to do the same. It's okay for our citizens uh, to be sad right now. Shreveport's mayor video, expressing empathy. After experiencing some sadness or some anxiety or even anger. Addressing the citizens remotely along with city and cattle leaders. If each one of us does the right thing, we'll break this chain of infectivity and we'll stop this pandemic. Their message consistent, warning non-essential people to adhere to CDC rules in place to prevent the spread of coronavirus. The mayor emphasizing essential workers are putting their lives on the line for us every day. The least that we can do is stay at home and keep six feet distance between each other. Uh, that's why I've authorized the Shreveport Police Department to start issuing summonses uh, to individuals and businesses who are not limiting gathering size and practicing proper social distancing. We're trying to get people to comply without going in like Big Brother. We don't want, we're not used to being Big Brother. We don't want to be Big Brother. We're wanting people to comply uh, because it's the right thing to do. And because they're seeing firsthand the virus's effects. Hospitals have resources right now, but they're limited resources. And as the COVID uh, pandemic continues, those resources are increasingly drawn upon. Creating a serious problem with potentially serious consequences. You may think that you're invincible. You may think, well, I don't get sick. You do not know this with this disease. Mayor Perkins also announced an interfaith community prayer with religious leaders via Facebook this Thursday, April 2nd at 7 o'clock p.m. Live at Government Plaza, Jade Jackson, NBC6 News. All right, thank you very much, Jade.